Hi, my name is Thomas Brooks and welcome to this quick video short on Plans Express and creating a new level from the ground floor. Now, I've got a drawing already done here of a ground floor. Now, I'm going to show you if I look in the 3D preview what it looks like there. There we go, I've got no floor in there, except for this purpose, but we won't need that. And if I go to my architecture and draw a wall in over here, demonstration purposes and show you on the 3D preview whenever you draw something it will show up there. Now if I use the levels tool here it gives me a lot of features off the back of that, it allows me to control what's shown on the 3D as well as creating the first floor. Now if I select that there I shall get my options come up so I can set my wall height as 2775 as that's what these walls are set at now click OK and it'll ask me for a reference point that is the same all the way through the building. So I'm going to select this corner, then I'm going to click up here and then click once more down here. And if I look at my 3D preview now, you shall see it only shows what's inside. Delete that now. Now I can from this create the next story. So if I highlight the pink dotted line, instead of having to copy and paste everything, I just need to highlight middle mouse click to bring up the modify menu copy selection. It will ask for a reference point so I can just select one of these corners, hold shift for a nice straight line and place. Base height 2775, wall height, I'm going to change that to 2400 while I type that in. It's changed the wall height down here for me and it's already selected level number 2. I'm going to select uh, copy external walls and on the internal walls I can leave doors, windows, openings in there. But if I untick one of those it won't copy them across. It's automatically ticked remove foundations and footings for me, so I'll leave that as is, click OK, and that will then draw the first floor for me. So you see I've got the door windows still in there now, but what I can do is I can just mark out where they are, replace them with windows. Now if I look at my 3D preview now, you shall see two stores stacked up. I can then just edit this as such to reflect. Okay, and uh, The other advantage of this now is I can also with the drawing elevations I can s select the ground floor pick a reference point there, place that down there and it gives me the option to create elevation for all levels and there we go. Okay, thank you for watching this quick video on the Levels tool. If you have any questions, please call the support team on 0845 1234 085. That's 0845 1234 085. Thank you.